Hello, my name is Riley Olet, and our group selected Pablo Picasso's head done in 1926. This uh, oil on canvas work is a 35.6 by 27.9 centimeter. And the reason I chose it is because of the strange distortions of her head and the image's odd coloring uh, depicting the two different cool tones with the white, red, and brown followed by the sharp red kind of reflects the clashing emotions and thoughts that go on in my mind personally on a daily basis especially in my own life through academics, being a college student, trying to get into business school now, um, trying to balance life and work with COVID. I think this piece just kind of perfectly reflects all of that emotional and distress kind of going on. And I kind of like the piece because of that. And the format element I'm using to show that is tone because the, the cool tone that's created by the, the smooth lines and the evenly proportioned cool colors on the left is suddenly clashed by the harsh red and almost bloated out face on the right side of the painting. My name is Julie Peters, and the piece that my group members and I chose is called Head by Picasso. This piece is very unique and abstract and has many vivid elements. The element that I will be talking about today is color. The color in this painting are dark blue, light blue, yellow, red, and gray. I like how it goes from warm colors like red and yellow to cool colors like blue and gray. It's like Picasso was trying to relay a message from an emotional standpoint without actually saying it. The painting caught my eye because the blue and gray in the painting could mean you're happy or sad and it could also re relate to your daily thought process. I can relate to this painting since I have blue eyes and I always gravitate towards the color blue. Hello, my name is Anderson Pierre. I am a freshman at FAU and my group chose a piece called Head by Pablo Picasso. The painting was created in 1926 using oil paint, which was typical for him to use at the time. I chose surface as my formal element because unlike some of his other paintings, the bro strokes are highly visible, which give the painting an almost 3D feel and a rough texture. The way this relates to my life is because not everything in life can be one smooth road. So I've learned that even if something is like rough, that doesn't mean that it doesn't look as good or it's not as good as something that is smooth. Hello, my name is Chase Perry and I'm a sophomore at FAU. So for today, I'm doing the painting Head by Picasso and it was painted in 1926. And the former element I'll be discussing is line. So Picasso used curving and flowing line qualities to represent a beautiful, more natural presentation to the woman in the painting. And in the painting, if you could see, there's a, con there's a continuous line that flows through the whole painting, which re reflects a semi-automatic drawing technique that Picasso used around 1924. And this creative method that he invented pretty much influenced all the surrealists of the time, which was a brand new movement and it influenced all the modern artists we see today. And this painting influences my life because it makes me want to travel the world and look at all the masterpieces he made and everybody made, and it's really impressive.